Hello everyone, it's Professor Gray here. Good to see you. Our last video of the semester. Hmm. Well, as you know, our, our class uh, final exam will be online. It will not be in class as I had hoped and many of you had hoped. However, uh, the decision is made and uh, that's what we will do. We will have an online test next week. I have given all of you the information on the time, so be sure that you are ready at your computer a little bit before the time of your test. I would say minimum five minutes before. You don't want to be messing around with computer and internet. You want to be ready to go. The final exam, uh, I, I will give it to you very much the way you took the midterm and the listening test, okay? I'll send it to you right, right at the time I said. And this one I'll give you a little more time, maybe uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I haven't decided the exact time yet, but it'll be between 30 and 40 minutes. Then you must email me back within that time with your answers. I will give you an answer sheet. You can use that. Some of you do that, but most of you put your answers directly on the email. That's fine too. I will let you decide. The answer sheet that I give you is optional and you may use it. Um, if you're late, one minute to five minutes late, you will lose 20%. If you are more than five minutes late, you will get a zero for the test. Do not be more than five minutes late, very important. Okay, now, again, if you have any questions about the time and the schedule and everything, please email me, all right? Um, the oh, another good point. The final exam now, because we're, we're not doing the whole university exam, it's only our class. So I've, given, I've decided to make the final exam based on the material after the midterm exam, okay? Once again, the final exam is based on the material we, our class, studied after the midterm exam. That would be chapter nine, Alfred Nobel, chapter 10, a cultural difference, being on time, chapter 11, technology competes for family time, and chapter 13, the reliability of eyewitnesses. Okay, nine, 10, 11, 13. Please review those chapters. The questions will be on vocabulary, uh, some expressions that we learned, some grammar, of course. Be very careful with the grammar. Remember, if you just, if the word is not the right tense, past, present, future, if it's not positive or negative correctly, or if it's not a uh, singular plural correctly, it is wrong. Okay, it's either perfect Perfectly right, one point or wrong, zero. Um, okay, uh, and oh, and you will have to uh, read a new story like you did with the midterm test. There will be a story that you read. It will be a new story, but it will have a similar topic to one of the topics in the book that we studied. Then, of course, you will have story questions afterwards. Okay, again, I will tell you later uh, in an email, but I'm, it's probably going to be 30 minutes again, most likely 30 minutes. You will have to go as fast as you can and get the test back to me, okay? If you don't finish it, you still have to get it to me on time, right? You have to rush. You, you have to go a little bit fast for the final exam, but remember, I'm grading everybody as fairly as I can. So we are allowed to give 40% A, 80% A plus B. I will give the maximum. I have decided to give the maximum so the top 40% in the classes will receive an A and the top 80% will receive A's and B's. Okay, I've decided I think that's fair. I, I, I just feel that it's been a very difficult semester and everybody deserves the, a break. And uh, I feel good in this case only giving uh, the highest grades possible. So you really, you're, it's not the raw score, it's the score compared to everybody else. 
Now your listening exam, okay, that was out of 40 points. I will quickly go over it. You can check now. Now, some of you asked some questions, that's great, but I said wait until after the video, this video, watch the video, check the answers, listen to me, and if you still have a question, you may uh, send me an email, okay? All right, the first ones, most of you did pretty well. Uh, uh, number one dozen is J, 12 of something. Number two, breakdown is C, stop working like a car. Number three, punctual is H, uh, on time. Number four is I, uh, praise is the good, say good things. Number five is B, strict, being very strict with the rules, following the rules, B. Number six is D. Uh, money that you pay, your tuition is what you pay. When you go to a uh, university, you pay the school to study, and that is called tuition, D. Number seven, neglect, E, not taking care of something or someone, like the, uh, the pet that was neglected. Uh, number eight, eternity is forever, F. Number nine, commute is A, traveling back and forth to work. Number 10, humid is G. Uh, hot and wet, like uh, uh, Seoul in the summer is very, very humid. Okay, B. Now, uh, those are one point each, 10 points total. B, that you had a little more trouble. Some of you had trouble with B. Okay, I wanted the word we studied. Okay, there was one word I was looking for, or one phrase, and that's it. Okay, why? Because I wanted the words we looked at in the class, not something you look in a dictionary for. Okay, I wanted the words in our class that showed me you watched the video and read the book and did the work in our class. That's how you got the points here. Number one, free, like free drinks on a flight, on a flight, complimentary. Number one, complimentary. Number two, a one-room apartment is a studio. Okay, one room is a, the word one room is a, is a Konglish term. We don't say one room. We say a studio or a studio apartment. Number three, uh, this expression is used when a flight is 100% full, fully booked. Not overbooked, not just booked, but fully booked. That's the term we looked at in our class, fully booked. Number four, an illegal action someone does to try to steal money, scam, S-C-A-M, scam, scam. Number five, another word for a class, okay, yeah, again, some of you said things like lecture and book and... Uh, there was a word we studied and that was course, C-O-U-R-S-E, course, class, course. Again, it's from the, the work we did. That's the answer I wanted, course. Same with number six and seven, okay? Uh, 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 when an airport is, uh, airplane is leaving, it is taking off. You could have said take off or taking off, either one. Coming back, land or landing, okay? I didn't want anything else because that's what was in the lecture. Take off, land, or taking off, landing. Uh, uh, six and seven, okay? Six, take off, seven, land. Number eight, uh, when you get, where you get on or off a train is called the platform. Again, it was in your notes. I talked about it in the lecture, platform. Number nine, uh, airplane, where you get on, get off an airplane is a gate, G-A-T-E. Again, right from the lecture. And number 10 is the landlady, the woman, not landlord. Okay, landlord is a man. Number 10 asks for the lady, landlady. C, a uh, pretty good job with C. Again, I wanted the answers from our class, from the notes, from the lecture. Okay, a few of you, uh, I think, didn't use those answers, but almost everybody did. Um, okay, number one, enthusiastic, uh, very full of energy, positive energy. Uh, very excited, hard, uh, a few people said things like hardworking and excited, okay, because we learned that in the book. Two points, if you wanted two points, I wanted full of positive energy or very excited about something, enthusiastic. Uh, some of you might have, if you're not sure about your score, you know, you could, this is probably where you might have lost the point. If you didn't give me exactly the definition I wanted, I probably gave you one point not two, okay, one point, not two. Number two, to can't, you can't stand is you really hate, you don't like, uh, I, that's what I was looking for, really don't like something, really hate someone or something. Uh, number three, there's no point. Uh, again, some troubles here. A lot of you, 
I, I'm suspicious you, you kind of looked it up instead of remembering from our, our, um, our lecture. And with there's no point, I said there's no reason. For two points, you had to say there's no reason. Or it doesn't make sense. Those are the definitions I gave you in our lecture. There's no reason. It doesn't make sense. Number four, again, kind of. Kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous a little bit. Okay, not sort of, type of, no. I said kind of, as in kind of nervous, a little bit. Okay, I think a couple of you might have said somewhat, and I, if you said somewhat, it's okay. It's not what I gave you in class, but it's the same meaning, so. And number five, purchase is simply buy, to buy something. That's it, buy, okay? 10 points total. Now, a few of you lost some points. Most of you, that where you lost points was in B and C. Most of you lost points in B and C. A and D were done quite well. Just a few mistakes here and there. D, one point each. Um, the assignment was to write a paper. Number one, paper. Uh, number two, the runner can maintain his speed. Number two, speed. Number three, Jim was hired as a member of the company's sales staff. Staff. Number four, the concert was so big it had to be held in a stadium. Stadium. Remember, stadium is a big, usually usually outdoor for soccer, a baseball, and uh, rugby. Big, big uh, attendance, big stadium, uh, Olympic stadium. And then an arena is usually indoor and smaller, ice arena, like for hockey and um, volleyball, basketball, and so on. Number five, um, the decorations for the princess's wedding were incredibly Elaborate, elaborate, very fancy, very complicated, uh, very beautiful, elaborate. Uh, number six, uh, to see the ancient buildings. Yeah, Greece, of course, is full of very ancient, ancient, very, very old buildings. Number seven, uh, the old apartment was falling apart and required constant maintenance, maintenance, taking care of it, maintaining it, maintenance. Number eight, I decided to leave the city for a quiet life in the suburbs. Number eight, suburbs. Number nine, the store was very convenient. Convenient. Convenient location, just a block from my apartment, his apartment. And number 10, I met my friends at the mall so we could just hang out. Hang out. Okay, one point each. Most of you did really well in section D. Okay, 40 points total. Uh, most of your mistakes were in sections B and C. Uh, check it out. If, if you lost a few points, you're not sure, look at section C, especially. If you didn't give me the answer I, I wanted, um, I would, uh, I maybe gave you one point. Or if it was really off, I would have given you zero. Okay, not bad. Good job with the listening. Uh, listening is finished. The final exam, there will not, not be any material from the blue listening book on the final exam. All of the material is from our green main book, the green reading book, chapters 9, 10, 11, and 13. You should review the chapters. I will, I will ask you questions about the stories, maybe some main points. Uh, I'll definitely be asking vocabulary and expressions. And of course, you're going to have to read a new story that uh, you haven't read, but we'll have similar vocabulary to what we learned in the class. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Remember, on the test, you will have to go quickly. I'm gonna make, make you go fast uh, because it's an online test. Uh, do the best you can. That's all you can do. Just do the best you can, answer as many questions as you can, but get the answers to me on time. This is the most important thing. It's not worth going over time and answering one question, right? It's not worth it because you lose 20%. Um, very few of you lost lost points on the, on the listening test. Uh, the timing was very well done. So you must do that again on the final. Okay, so uh, next week, be ready, be at your computer with the or for the final test. If there's any trouble or, or you think you have a problem being at a computer or if something is not right, send me an email. Otherwise, be there, be ready. Um, I'll get your test, I'll grade it, and I'll send you your final test score um, afterwards and then your final grade in the class will be posted online uh, uh, you will not see your final grade until I think January so 
Uh, don't ask me ahead of time about your final grade. You have to wait until it's available on the website, uh, on the, uh, the university website, uh, I believe in early January. Uh, please be sure to um, uh, ask if you have any questions at all and be ready for the final test. Again, I'm really, really sad that I won't have a chance to meet you in person. I'm very disappointed about that. Um, I, I want, again want to thank you for your hard work and your really good, good attitudes. All of you had very good, positive attitudes uh, towards me, uh, towards the class. Um, I think a lot of you learned well. I think most of you learned very well. You learned a lot, and one reason you learned is because you had a very good attitude about our class and about learning English. Keep that up. That will always help you in school. Always. I'll promise you. Okay, everyone. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, again, uh, I'll, look, I'll look forward to hearing from you online. I hope you do well on the test. Final grades will be posted in January, um, and be sure to ask any question. If you're not sure about your grade in January, you can email me. Okay? I, I will be available online if you have a question. Why did I get mo mo mo? Why, why is my grade mo mo mo? You can ask me in an email, um, even you know in January when we are after we are finished. Okay, I'll be there. Uh, you know, within a day, I can probably respond to your email. Okay, everyone, any questions at all, let me know. Otherwise, study hard, prepare well. Um, I'll see you online uh, next, uh, next week for your test. And uh, have a great week, everyone. Thanks again. Bye-bye.